Hello everyone, myself Dev Solanki. Today, me and my coordinators Deep Solanki and Amol Sukre, students of Shivaji Rao S. Junle College of Pharmacy, Asangao, studying in third year of B Pharmacy, are going to talk on a topic that is bias of oxytocin using rat uterine horn by interpolation method under the guidance of Sachin Jadav sir, professor at our college. So, aim of our topic is to record the concentration response curve of oxytocin using rat uterine horn by interpolation method. So, oxytocin is a natural hormone that stimulates uterine contractions in childbirth and lactation after childbirth and interpolation method. This is the simplest form of graded response assay and involves no statistical data and many calculations. In this assay, the dose response curve is first obtained from different doses of standard ARCH solution. The concentration of unknown is, the, is then read by the standard graph. So graded response assay, it is proportional to the dose and response may lie between no response and maximum response. So the principle of our topic is oxytocin is a hormone secreted by posterior pituitary gland. The rat uterine preparation is commonly used for the bias of oxytocin. The sensitivity of the uterus to the oxytocin depends on the osteous cycle. So osteous cycle or estrous cycle occurs in non-primate mam mammalian females. It is cyclic changes occurring or occurring due to the reproductive phase of an animal. And uh, the various stages of osteous cycle can be identified by preparing vaginal smears and observing under microscope. Rat, rat uterus is highly sensitive and adult female rat that is of 2 to 3 months old has an osteous cycle of 5 days. The osteous cycle is divided into different stages. First one is the diosteous that is characterized by presence of leukocytes in vaginal smear. Second one is prostereus or estereus characterized by the presence of large number of nucleated epithelial cells and the third one frank osteus presence of corniferd epithelial cells and fourth one meta osteus or late osteus presence of mixture of nucleated corniferd epithelial cells and leukocytes if the rat is not frank osteus stage it can be induced by the administration of estrogen preparation that is still bit bistrol uh, that is 0.1 mg per kg for 20 before 24 hours frank osteus uterus is highly sensitive to oxytocin and hence preferred for bioassay than the diosterous uterus which is relatively less sensitive so the requirements of our experiment is animal that is female rat of 120 to 150 gram drugs like oxytocin and still bistrol and physiological solutions like d gelon and student organ bath so the further topic will be continued by my coordinator amol sukre thank you dev for explaining aim principle and requirement now i will continue with procedure the first procedure is preparation of animal that is examine the vaginal smear under microscope to know about the proper stage of oestrus cycle if the rat is not in frank oestrus inject it with 0.1 mg by kg of still bestrol and wait for 24 hours uh, and remember a vaginal smear is prepared by taking a drop of vaginal wash and putting on the glass slide uh, after the after 24 hours if the epithelial cells are present in the smear then it is said to be frank oestrus phase the second uh, procedure is isolation of tissue uh, first of all, animal is sacrificed by cervical dislocation. Second, cut open the pelvic region and expose both the horns of uterus. Separate them gently from the surrounding fatty material and transfer them into a dish containing d gelon solution. After, when the rat in oyster generally the uterus is fleshy and pink in color, then the uterus is cut longitudinally and a tissue portion of 2-3 to cm long is taken and both ends are tied with the thread. Then third procedure is uh, mounting the tissue. About 2 to 3 cm tissue is mounted in organ bath uh, containing d gelon solution at 320 degree Celsius along with uh, proper aeration. After a tension of about uh, 500 mg that is 0.5 gram is applied and tissue is allowed to equilibrate for 45 minutes. 
the fourth procedure is about recording of the response first of all record the drc for the standard oxytocin solution is taken then record responses due to 0.1 0.2 or 0.5 or sorry 4 ml of the test substance after see that uh, this responses would fall on the linear portion of the concentration response curve for the stand solution then label and fix the tracing plot the concentration response curve due to standard acet acetylcholine solution then measure the heights of the concentrations response uh, due to uh, different doses that is dose a and dose b of test solution and read the corresponding concentration from the standard curve this is the procedure thank you amul for explaining the procedure now i am going to start with the graphical representation of drc that is the interpolation method and also known as graphical method basically it is known as graphical method because there is no formula for getting the uh, concentration of unknown or test solution which were administered in rat by uh, in organ tube so it is also known as graphical method and here we have administered 0.1 ml of solution in organ tube uh, for the purpose to check the height of the curve which we get with the graph that is around 5 mm then we have done it one more time to see the equipotency basically equipotency is nothing but to see the if the tissue is stabilized or not then we have administered 0.248 till 1.6 ml so we got different height that is from 8 to 19 mm and then we have done it with 3.2 ml we got the height of 24 mm then we done it with 6.4 ml we got the height of 24 mm so it means that it is the maximal height of the solution so it is also known as ceiling effect uh, so the next we have done with the test solution that is we have taken 0.4 ml so that we got the height of around 10 mm uh, basically we need to get height from 5 mm to 19 mm that is minimum to max sub maximum dose only if we administer with 0.1 2 or 3 we will get less height that is around 4 mm 3 mm or if we administer 0.5 6 7 then we can get height more than 19 mm so we have administered 0.4 ml solution only so we got the uh, concentration uh, so we got the height of 10 mm Uh, we have to manipulate the standard drug in such a way so that the uh, standard response matches with the test response so this is the total graphical representation of drc now we are going to start with the observation so here is the observation uh, so concentration of standard oxytocin is equal to 100 microgram per ml and we have taken doses of 0.1 to 3.2 that is in standard and we got the concentration from 10 to 320 and then we have taken the log which we have done in 11 to 12 of 10 it will be 1 of 20 it will be 1.30 and we have taken the height of response which we got from 5 to 24 and here we have calculated the percentage response so basically percentage response is nothing but 5 into the uh, last one that is 100 divided by 24 that will be the percentage response for first dose that is 0.1 20.83 and for other example you can take 16 into 100 divided by 24 you will get the percentage response 63.67 uh so for test we have to take we have taken 0.4 dose 0.4 ml of dose we will calculate the concentration log concentration we got the height of 10 mm and we got the percentage response by that formula only so next slide here is the graphical representation in x and y and here we have calculated for test dose the concentration and log concentration we have uh, put the doses and uh, log concentration percentage response we plot the graph in such a way that we can get the test 0.4 ml concentration and log concentration you guys can see over here it is easy and then we have got the log concentration of 1.45 and we have taken the anti log we got uh, 28.18 microgram this 28.18 microgram is for 0.4 ml solution so we have to take for 1 ml test sample so we have uh, went, uh, multiplied it 1 divided by 0.4 so we got 70.45 microgram per ml so it is 
uh, answer for concentration seven uh, that is seventy point four five and the next slide here is the calculation for it you guys can see it and uh, here is the result that is the strength of unknown concentration of oxytocin uh, is using isolated rat uterine horn by interpolation bioassay was found to be 70.45 microgram per ml of solution uh, and this is the reference link for pharmacology to lab manual by Shivaji Rao is only college of pharmacy Asanga and here is it is the YouTube link I am thankful to Dr. Shivaji Rao S. Jondle as the president of our college, Dr. Geeta Khare as the secretary of our college and Dr. Nitin C. Mohire as the principal of our college for encouraging and their valuable guidance for the efficient use of media to spread their knowledge by making such informative videos. After all, it is said that gaining knowledge is first step of wisdom and sharing it is the first step of the humanity. So guys. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for such a inform more informative video. Thank you.